Yep, hi Mike, so just a quick video show what I've done so far. So yeah, I've removed the two yellow hoses there and crimped them in between those. If that's not necessarily suitable, I'll put bolts in them. Um, also I've left the pipes open. Our electrical connectors off. Then use the adapter on here with a new brass washer and not overly over tightened it, but just uh, snugged it up nicely. Round here, and that's in that position. And then round to this end here, and then I'm actually had to use another adapter on this piece uh, with the banjo on it, which of course goes to the centre here. That's cool. And this then goes round here uh, up to the gauge, which is there. And I've got. The, I think you think this is the fuel per, um, to the fuel um, sort of purge to get the air out of the system. So what does I put that into a into a, a pot somewhere? So any if I need to do this once the fuel pump's running, you know, once I've overridden it to pump out the um air, I can I can do that as well. Yeah, that's how it is. Hopefully that's alright. Just, just make sure it's all that I don't need to sort of block, you know, these pipes here or do anything sort of much anything further. Um otherwise, yeah. I'm not sure if this is on and off position. I'll check your um your notes. But yes, I um I know that obviously when it's in one position it goes much higher, like five point something bar you mentioned, and the other position is showing now that three bar. So I've got my laser as well. So what I do is I'll train the laser um, on this unit here once the car started, and then I can monitor um, the bar versus the temperature of this. Cool. Cheers. And obviously I'll, I'll record it down on a piece of paper. Excellent.